In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Psalm 124, verses 1 through 8, where we'll see some of the things that would happen if not for the Lord. Psalm 124, verses 1 through 8 says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive. When their anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. It's hard for us to really know or even imagine what sort of things would befall us if the Lord's protection wasn't there for his people. If you are a child of God, think about all the things that he has done for you and then sort of play through your mind, what would have happened had the Lord not cared for you in the ways that he has? If not for the Lord, all of us would be in a very different place. All of us would be very different people. If not for the Lord, we would be living in a much more chaotic scenario. But because the Lord is gracious, because he is merciful, because he has such great loving kindness, particularly for his people, we are able to live in the scenario that we are currently in, which is far better than where we would be if not for the Lord. Here are three thoughts to help us appreciate the fact that the Lord is with us. Thought number one, if not for the Lord, our enemies would win. There are many enemies in this world, whether they're your enemies because of your particular faith or enemies of you just because they happen to want something that you have. It doesn't matter. There are enemies all around us all the time. And if not for the Lord, our enemies would be victorious. David wrote this psalm, and he constantly had enemies surrounding him. And he recognized that were it not for the Lord, his enemies would have crushed him. His enemies would not have permitted him to live. But because the Lord is kind, he is able to survive and even thrive. Thought number two, if not for the Lord, nature would destroy. The poetic nature of this psalm has the enemies coming, and then it sort of describes them as rushing water. It describes them as a great flood. And here's the amazing thing, that... Were it not for the Lord, nature itself would conspire against us. Maybe not consciously, but there's nothing in this world that's making it easier for you to stay alive without the benefit of the Lord. Thought number three, if not for the Lord, predators would consume. I probably don't need to convince you that there are predators out there, both in the form of people as well as in the form of just natural predators that exist. And this is something that we need to take into account, that there are those in this world who view you as prey. And if it were not for the protection of our Heavenly Father, guess what? On a long enough timeline, we would succumb to those predators. Those predators would ultimately be victorious. But because the Lord is kind, he protects us from those who would eat us. Whether it's a natural predator or if it's a more... ethereal kind of predation taking place. We know that there are those who are out there who want to eat us in one form or another. But the Lord protects his people. He protects his people and he makes it possible for them to thrive where without his help, they would definitely be destroyed. This we see getting played out by the people of Israel time and time again. A wayward people with no land, through the help of the Lord come into this great promised land and are able to dwell in it. And it's only when they defy the Lord that they succumb to nature, 
to their physical enemies, to the various predators that would consume. Because of this, we thank the Lord because we recognize that just like he protected Israel, so too does he protect us from the predators that seek to consume. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Psalms 122 through 124. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.